Extreme Collectibles here. It's been a hell of a day. Been building Maji cases, filming reviews, going to sporting events, and I'm sick as shit. So it sucks. But uh, after this, I'm going to relax after I do one more unboxing. You ever have a statue that you're on the fence about? Some of us, some buyers that I talk to are on the fence about everything they buy, which is understandable because they are large investments. This is one I didn't need, not that I need any statues, but uh, sideshow points are great. And I am ecstatic now that I have it. I mean, this is, this is a POS. This is a piece of statue. So love it. Let's talk about it. Extreme Collectibles here with Sideshow's premium format Harley Quinn statue. This is their newest Harley Quinn statue. They do have an old one, uh, but this is more comic version to go with their new DC line. I have their Joker. I've actually reviewed that as well. I need to uh, open him up. I had to send him back because he was broken and I haven't opened up the new one. But purchased her to go along with the Joker. Uh, also, I have a large Bat Villain DC line. You know what? Let me show you a picture here. Uh, here, here's the picture of my bat, uh, bat villains, quarter scale. So temporary placement for them while I continue to build more Maji cases. So I got her to pair with the uh, other Joker. I think Joker's one of the greatest villains of all time. And Harley Quinn, I was always kind of on the fence about. I loved Margot Robbie's portrayal of her in Suicide Squad. Uh, Suicide Squad, you know, I always forget that uh, Harley Quinn is just as insane as Joker. So... I really like the take on this one. I like a lot of different things about it. They uh, made two different versions. They made a collector's version and they made an exclusive version. The only difference is the exclusive version has this little uh, bat in the box, kind of jack in the box piece. You know, and it's interesting. It feels like Sideshow is doing that more and more that the exclusive is kind of a separate uh, item that's not attached to the original statue or the base. And I, I imagine there's some kind of financial gain behind that because, you know, it's a for-profit company. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I like that. I, I'd rather have, you know, additional options, like maybe she could have a bat instead. I don't, I don't know. But statue came in standard, sideshow uh, uh, shipping with the white foam art box. And it was not that many pieces. So first, the base is one piece. The uh, uh, Harley Quinn herself minus the hammer and hands is another piece. Obviously, the bat in the box is another piece. And then she has two different portraits. And when I initially got it, this here, the uh, hooded portrait, is the one that I fell in love with. I think this is fantastic. Maybe it's because I love red lips. I don't know. I just, I really liked it, and I was sure I was going to display just that one. And then the other portrait is the unhooded portrait right here, which is phenomenal as well in, in person. So it looks really good. And we're gonna review both head sculpts and paint, but they're both fantastic. Almost makes me wanna have two of them so I can uh, do the two different head sculpts. If they had to switch out with the hammer instead, I might've done that. But uh, yeah, so really cool. It, it retailed right around 550 or so. Thankfully, as I said in the intro, I use points to purchase everything. So I only paid shipping, which is kinda neat. And it's just great. It's just comical. I really like it. So let, let's just talk about that. Uh, or let's do the dimensions first. So from front to back, it's only about eight and a half inches. And she's 20, 19, and, 19 and a half inches tall. And then width is about 12 where the planks are coming out. So now let's talk about the concept and design. I think they captured the, you know, in, insane, uh, uh, maniacal Harley Quinn perfect. Uh, I talk a lot about this in the Joker, uh, her counterpart review, where, you know, someone who's truly insane is just really crazy. Like, will sleep with a teddy bear or do weird crap like that. And I think they capture that well. 
So first she's sitting on a base here, and one of the things that you'll, you'll see pictures of later, there is a, uh, a, a barrel of what I assume is gasoline, and it's lit, so it's about to light. On top of all the other crazy stuff you see here on the base, there's dynamite and bombs and lights that light up. And, and one of them is actually broken. I thought it was broken out of the box. But then moving up, she's in a, a dynamic action pose. She's ready to hit somebody. She has all this cool crap on her that we're going to talk about in a little bit. Uh, and it's really, really cool. I love it. I think it pairs perfect with the Joker, as you saw in the original uh, picture of my DC uh, Bat villains. Really, really cool. They did a great job uh, catching her essence. And one of the things we'll talk about in, in uh, uh, the paint and sculpt, so this, this head sculpt, she looks more pissed off and more angry, where the other one, she looks more crazy. So kind of neat that both of them not only are very different because of the hood and the, the uh, uh, some of the makeup, but the expression is very different too. So it tells uh, a, a, a similar story, but it is different. So really cool concept. The design was really good. Her peg is like this long. So hopefully that'll prevent leaning issues. I was really impressed it was that long. One thing I didn't talk about, I had one damage, this bulb, uh, which I can glue right back in. It did break in shipping. So there we go. But uh, very cool concept. The design seems good. Leaning is going to be a concern down the road, so who knows. But with that, let's just dive into Harley Quinn uh, base. And actually, I'm going to back up. Let's talk about the paint and sculpt of the exclusive item first, uh, which is kind of basic, but looking close at it here, you see it's neat. So the jack in the box, the bottom part, has the greens and oranges and purples, and it's worn like it's been beat up. So that follows the rest of the statue, kind of cool. Almost looks like it's been burned or singed. And then you have the spring aspect of it. Uh, again, reminds me of another Joker piece or the uh, Nightmare Joker uh, uh, headstand. And then Bat up here kind of stitched together, and I like how they have the clown collar on him, and it looks very cartoonish, very playful, which makes sense because it's a bat in the box, so it doesn't have to look realistic. And some just really cool sculpt on the cape in the back. Just cool, cool Easter egg. And uh, now jumping into the base, there's a lot going on here, a lot of cool stuff. So first of all, on the bottom, bottom is kind of this cement concrete look, which looks good. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be mud or not, because some of the sticks of dynamite have been pushed in there, but it's grayish light concrete. Maybe it's uh, concrete that hasn't hardened yet, which would be kind of neat, uh, would add a little bit more to it. But there's cool texture on it, and the one or two colors they used on it look really good. The barrel, as you see here back here, is really cool. I love the different colors. I love the sculpt on it, how it's uh, punched in and bashed in. And then it has the fuse. The fuse actually looks like a real fuse. But I love the charred looks on it and the different colors they use to give it that age. The different bombs and dynamites look okay. Uh, they're very cartoonish, look very plastic. The fire on the wicks looks stupid. I think that was a bit on the statue. They could have done much better. The lights that I talked about, they'd be really neat if they lit up. Otherwise, I don't understand the purpose there, but they look good. And then look at this. There's something written on it, and I can only tell it says HN something 3. So someone please comment if they know what that's supposed to mean. But the wood on here looks fantastic. It looks like real wood. Not only the sculpt and texture, but the paint on it and the floorboards and the, the broken uh, joists and the cracks. Well done, Sideshow. Really impressed by that. Moving up to Harley's boots, uh, she has two of them, obviously. <laughs> she has two of them. I'm sick. I'm really sick. I haven't taken any drugs yet. I'm going to take drugs right after this. And not Dayquil or something. Drugs. So, uh, one really uh, thing about Harley before we get into it, she uh, has the two-face outfit on where it's kind of uh, uh, mixed and matched or it's uh, equally balanced. The yin-yang, so where it's red on one side, it's black on the other and vice versa, whether her shoes and laces or, or patches or whatever it is, which is really, really cool. So uh, before uh, you know, before we even get into the, the boots and stuff, let me just talk about the textures on those. So see right here, you can see the difference. What, what's really cool is it's polar opposite. So the red is kind of this shiny gloss where the black is kind of this flat, uh, matte black paint. 
And it's identical on each side, as I said. Anytime there is a, 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 a red and a black on one side, it's the complete opposite on the other. And I love how they did that from her armbands, to the legs, to the boots, to the laces, to the patches, to the gloves, everything. Good sculpting boots. I like the folds because she is in kind of a running position. And then the laces look okay. They are sculpted. I think they could have done a little bit better. I like the top parts, kind of those billowy Santa elf type aspects you kind of think of, clown aspects. Moving up her legs, there is some stitching you can see and some patches and then on, on the inside. And the muscle definition is good. She's very trim, very slim, not too fat, kind of athletic. Her policeman belt that she's wearing is a great Easter egg. She obviously stole it from a cop. The pouches look plastic, which I don't like. It is sculpted, and I think they could have done a better job. And I don't know if it's the paint, because the sculpt is decent, but it looks just really cheap. One thing too, her, uh, I forgot this. to talk about this. The Billy Club here actually is a separate piece too. It's removable and it slides right in. That's what she said. So, uh, yeah. Really cool belt. Then on the back of the belt, some other cool Easter eggs, you know, some of these pouches. And then, and then she, she has a piece of cloth and I forget what that was. I, I heard it during a review or during something, but then she has some uh, handcuffs, some S&M handcuffs, which is awesome. I like that Sideshow pushed the bar on it and allowed that. And then her flashlight holder, there's something green coming out of it. And I don't know what that is. So if somebody knows what that is, please comment on that because I'm sure it's a cool Easter egg they hid in there. Then moving up uh, her torso here, obviously she is not wearing any support uh, for her upper body to be PC or uh, G rated here. I like her skin tones. It's a lot darker than I thought it would be. I kind of think of her as pale, but on her arms they went really, really dark, which is surprising. And then her outfit, her arm coverings here are really cool. It's the same texture they've used throughout, but again, some nice definition in her muscle. Then kind of those ruffles, uh, I don't know, ruffle wrist ruffles, I don't know what they're called, look neat too. Her hammer, really cool here. Uh, there's a lot of ingrained stuff on this wooden hammer, and it's kind of hard because I'm sick and I can't think very straight to figure out what actually is ingrained in here. I imagine it's something to do with Joker. I see the word bud. Some really cool stuff, Lou Bud. So maybe someone else can comment on that. You know, with all this stuff, someone should probably else be doing the review. I'm really out of it. I'm just really sick. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna rest after this, I think. I'm gonna try to. And then on her collar, she has, you know, traditional clown uh, it is sculpted. It looks like it's not, so I, I like how they did that. And it's just not just white, but there's some faded blacks in there, which is really cool. And then looking at her unmasked portrait is what I'd call it. So first of all, her hair is fantastic. I love the sculpt on it, the strands. You can tell that uh, she dyed her hair because by the roots, it's a different color. And I love the flow of it. Really well done. Then on her mask, I like how uh, not her mask, but her face, the white powder towards her neck is kind of rubbed off so you can tell that it's makeup. And look at the detail around her eyes, the different colors they did. It looks really good. And great sculpt on her nose and her chin and her lips where it's coming up. You can see some indentions, which really just add to her expression. And then some black lipstick right over her, uh, uh, you know, pink lips. Really good job on the portrait. And the other one here, like I said, this is my favorite. First of all, looking at kind of the cowl, uh, it maintains the same colors and textures. So really, really cool. I like the sculpt on it. I like how it's folded back, kind of like it's flowing in the wind with an action pose. And then looking at her face here, again, I just love this face. Uh, I think there's a little bit of opportunity uh, around the mouth where the bottom of the teeth are. I don't like how the gums interact with the teeth, but I, I love what they did with the sculpt on the lips and the paint. And then her eyes just look really good. Her pupils, they could have done a little bit better on the paint job, but I like the coloring around the eyes. And again, her, it's not just a plain white, but you can kind of see her rosy cheeks below it. So that's premium format Harley Quinn. It's an absolute great piece. If you're on the fence, pick it up. And I see some sickness coming right now. I'm holding it back.
Oh, shit. All right. Uh, so I'm going to end it now, but please let me know what you think of the piece. Please subscribe if you have not, and please give me a like. I really appreciate you watching, and I'm going to go get better, hopefully. So until next time, take care.